Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the essence of regression and let's talk about significance tests uh, in regression. Um, <clears throat> and specifically, I'm concerned about um, significance tests uh, testing whether the unstandardized regression coefficient uh, value for a predictor variable, whether it is significantly different from zero or not. And so it is a t-test. Um, and so let's talk about uh, that uh, significance test. Um, and let's talk about it specific to regression, of course. After all, this is the essence of regression. Uh, but also I want to talk about it um, also more generally as well. I think conceptually uh, it helps you understand uh, significance tests better. So let's get started. Um, okay, so there is a general format for significance tests uh, that you will find uh, across significance tests. So if we're talking about um, a, a t-test, uh, where we, we have a t-statistic, and it's testing the uh, significance uh, between, let's say, two group means, uh, or whether uh, the significance of the difference between an unstandardized regression coefficient value and zero, um, or an F-test, where we're looking at testing for significant differences um, between, uh, let's say, three or more group means, or between three or more within-group variances. Um, so significance tests generally have a certain common features, characteristics, and follow a common format, and so here it is. And that is what is being tested is the observed difference And so the observed difference is between different types of things. So again, uh, in regression, it's between the unstandardized regression coefficient value for a uh, particular predictor variable uh, and zero. Um, but you might also see uh, an observed difference uh, being tested um, between uh, two group means as in um, a, a t-test, the, the statistical approach called a t-test. Um, or you might uh, uh, be testing the uh, overall observed difference among uh, three or more group means. Uh, so just as examples, you have different types of observed differences depending on your particular uh, statistical procedure that you're using. Um, and when I think of observed differences, I, I, I think of it as what you're observing as differences on your statistical output. Uh, so when I see an unstandardized regression coefficient value, let's say a 0.70 uh, for a, a particular predictor variable, I know that's 0.70 as compared to zero. So that's the observed difference in, in, in that example is 0.70. Okay, so uh, whereas if I'm looking at um, two group means um, and I want to evaluate the significance of that observed difference, I look at the two group means and I look at the difference between them. Again, that's right in the statistical output and the difference between those two group means is the observed difference. So that's how I understand the observed difference and where I observe it, which is in the statistical output. Now that observed difference is compared with or divided by, but for you know conceptually speaking, is compared with the expected difference due to chance. due to chance. And that is estimated with a value that is known as the standard error. So that expected difference due to chance is represented by a value 
called the standard error. Abbreviated SE. All right, so that's the basic comparison. And that, and that is the basic comparison that you see across significance tests. Um, now, the question is, in making that comparison, um, <clears throat> is whether the observed difference um, is so large relative to the expected difference due to chance that the probability that you would have an observed difference that large and have it still just be due to chance, is it low enough of a probability that is still just due to chance that we will call it significant? Um, if the observed difference falls short of that probability, uh, then we say the observed difference is not significant. And so we have uh, particular metrics for evaluating that observed difference as compared with the expected difference due to chance to determine if we would see an observed difference that large compared with what we'd expect to see by chance and still have that observed difference be just due to chance. And one of those metrics is called the p-value. So every significance test is accompanied by a p-value. And <clears throat> that is the probability that you will observe a difference, that you're observing the observed difference, that is of a particular value in terms of being greater than, let's say greater than, in terms of what we're looking at, what you'd expect to see by chance, is that observed difference greater than what you'd expect to see by chance to such an extent that the probability that that observed difference is still just due to chance. And that probability is the p-value. And so, let's say that we have a particular observed difference and a particular standard error or expected difference due to chance, and it equals a T statistic or an F statistic. Doesn't make any difference for our purposes here in terms of these common characteristics of significance tests of 3.5. Just for example, well, what that is saying, what that 3.5 is saying, is that the observed difference is three and a half times greater than we would expect than we would expect to see by chance, um, and that's a good amount greater of our observed difference than we would expect to see by chance. Our p-value, then, is the probability that we would see an observed difference that much larger, three and a half times larger, than we would expect to see by chance, and still have that observed difference just be due to chance. And so let's say the p-value for this significance test is 0.15. That's saying that there is a 0.15 probability that you would have an observed difference three and a half times greater than the expected difference due to chance, our standard error, and still that observed difference is just due to chance. There's a 0.15 probability of that. That's the p-value. Now, in the social and behavioral sciences, we work according to a particular standard for the p-value, which I'm sure many of you are quite familiar with, which is that we want the p-value or the probability that a, an observed difference uh, compared to what we'd expect to see by chance, the standard error, uh, that observed difference is still just due to chance. 
We want the probability of that to be very low. And when we say very low uh, in terms of the social and behavioral sciences, we mean a p-value of 0.05 or less. If there's a 0.05 or less probability that we would see an observed difference that large compared with what we'd expect to see by chance and have that observed difference still just be due to chance. Because when the probability is at 0.05 or less, that that observed difference is still just due to chance, we have a high level of confidence to then say the observed difference is not due to chance, but represents a real, a genuine, a true difference, let's say from zero. If we're talking about regression and the value of a unstandardized regression coefficient value, the difference of that value from zero. And that is not a difference that is just due to chance, but that represents uh, a difference that is true, real, genuine, and in the context of regression, represents an effect of the predictor variable on the outcome variable. Now, that's if the p-value is 0.05 or less. Then we have a high level of confidence to say that that observed difference is not due to chance, but represents a true real difference from zero and an effect of the predictor variable on the outcome variable. Now you'll notice that's not what we have here. Here we have a p-value of 0.15. So here we have a p-value that's greater than 0.05, uh, a 0.15 probability that the observed difference um, compared to what we'd expect to see by chance and that observed difference is still just due to chance. And so that's an observed difference that we say is not significant and is just due to chance. So it is in that way that we make a decision based on the significance test uh, the observed difference compared with the expected difference due to chance, the standard error, and the accompanying probability of that observed difference still just being due to chance, so our p-value, of making the uh, decision as to whether we have a uh, significant difference so an observed difference that is not due to chance and represents something real, true, genuine, or that we have an observed difference that is not significant and we attribute that observed difference to chance. All right, now there is an additional uh, metric uh, that is used for evaluating um, whether a significance test, uh, an observed difference, uh, is significant or not significant, and that's called a confidence interval. So a confidence interval. And let's say a 95% confidence interval, which is a common confidence interval that you'll see. So a 95% confidence interval. Uh, and here we have a confidence interval that is built around the unstandardized regression coefficient value. Okay, and regression. And so let's say B that's the unstandardized regression coefficient value for a particular predictor variable, equals 0.48. We might have a confidence interval built around that with a uh, lower level value of 0.22 and an upper level value of 0.74 and then you don't actually see it in the confidence interval but it's understood to be there because this confidence interval is built around the uh, unstandardized regression coefficient value so that 0.48 is 
was right there in the middle of the confidence interval. And what we're evaluating that confidence interval for in terms of uh, evaluating uh, significance um, is whether or not uh, zero is included in the confidence interval. Uh, and in this case, uh, you see we're going from a positive number to a positive number, uh, and then going from a positive number to a positive number, you don't cross zero to do that, so zero is not included in this confidence interval, and we say that we have a significant effect, significant uh, result. Um, now on the other hand, if this value were negative, and then we went over to this value being positive, well to go from a negative uh, number to a positive number, you do have to cross zero, so in that case, zero is included in the confidence interval, and so you do not have a significant result. Okay? And so these are metrics for um, making the final decision. That's what it finally comes down to, is looking at those metrics uh, for whether we have a significant test and, and observed difference uh, that is significant or not significant. Uh, and then just one final comment about significance tests, and it, it just speaks to what we're doing more generally is that you'll notice that I'm talking about probabilities and I'm talking about levels of confidence. Um, I never would use the word certainty because there's no certainty in any of this, okay? Uh, it's all a matter of probabilities. It's all a matter of levels of confidence. So you're never going to see a p-value that is zero because you never have a situation where there's absolutely zero probability of an observed difference um, being due to chance. Um, there is always some probability that an observed difference, no matter how large it is, compared with the, difference, the expected difference due to chance, the standard error, there is always some probability, uh, some probability however close to zero that it may be, but there's always some probability uh, that the observed difference is still just due to chance. Uh, so we're not, you know, looking at situations here where, where you know, we want to see like, okay, well, there's this, you know, there's no, there's no probability that the observed difference is just due to chance. There's always some probability, however small, however close to zero our p-value may be. Uh, that our observed difference is still just due to chance. Um, and so we talk about probabilities, we talk about levels of confidence, um, that's the language used. All right, so there you go. You have learned some things about significance tests, specifically within the context of regression and also more generally. And you have a great day. <laughs>